Welcome to the Confluence Cast presented by Columbus Underground. We are a weekly Columbus centric podcast focusing on the civics, lifestyle, entertainment, and people of our city. I'm your host, Tim Fulton. This week, we are taking out the trash. Columbus Underground co founder Walker Evans sat down with Joe Lombardi, the executive director of the Solid Waste Authority of Central Ohio, or SWACO. They discussed the strategies they are putting in place for a sustainable future, practical tips on reducing waste, and ways to celebrate sustainably this holiday season. You can get more information on what we discussed today in the show notes for this episode of theconfluencecast.com. This episode of the Confluence Cast is brought to you with support from Swaco. Swaco is Central Ohio's source for waste reduction, recycling, and composting information. To learn more, visit swaco.org. Enjoy the interview. Sitting down here today with Joe Lombardi, the executive director of Swaco. Joe, thanks for sitting down with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. This is a great opportunity. Yeah. So, uh, Swaco, Solid Waste Authority of Central Ohio. Mm-hmm. That's correct for the, the acronym. That's correct. Uh, for anyone unfamiliar, I'm sure everyone's seen the word Swaco, you know, on a, on a recycling bin or a dumpster, you know, some, somewhere in the city. Can, can you tell us what is Swaco? What, what, what does it do? Who, who is Swaco? Sure. Uh, Swaco was created in uh, the 80s as part of a House Bill 592 out of the state of Ohio, which created 52 solid waste districts throughout Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um, We are one of those 52. Mm -hmm. Um, We take care of all the waste management. Um, We own the landfill here in central Ohio. We are responsible for 41 communities. We also provide programs, uh, resources, education, um, grants uh, mm-hmm. to help other communities in their waste uh, reduction and recycling efforts. Nice. What 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 did uh, what existed before Swaco? Was every community kind of individually handling the sort of stuff? You yeah. know, each suburb in each city in the, yeah. in the region. It, they. they uh, we called them dumps back then, mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. Uh, so every indus- every organization was different and so state of ohio uh to combat a lot of -of out-of-state trash that was coming into ohio and to uh safely dispose of that uh waste uh created solid waste districts with the really the goal was to stop the reliance on landfills and create programs to divert that material away from landfills yeah yeah so anyone watching the uh the youtube or the video version Mm -hmm. of this can maybe see behind us the the large mountain in the background which i I believe is central ohio's largest it is it is it is it is point yeah it is the tallest point in central ohio does does it have an official name i know people kind of say you know it's it's mount some say Mount Swaco, Mount Swaco. Yeah, yeah. So it, there's always some kind of some uh, fun name nicknames. For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which tell us a little bit about this, you know, because anyone driving down 71, yeah. if they're headed down towards Cincinnati, kind of sees it in passing. Um, but I, I imagine uh, not a lot of people have been up there on a tour. Right, yeah. and we do give tours mm-hmm. if, if if folks are interested. Just I've been give twice. Us a call. It's yeah. a great tour. It's, it's a, fun. There's a lot more engineering to it than you think yeah. there is. There's a yeah. lot to it. Um, So we bring in about a million tons a year uh, Mm -hmm. with our 41 communities. Um, It is what we call a sanitary landfill. So it is permitted through the Ohio EPA. Uh, Mm -hmm. There are regulations that we must uh, conform to to make sure that it is safe for our environment and safe for our community. Mm -hmm. And being in an urban setting is is a challenge. Most most landfills are not in an urban setting like we are. Uh, But we are probably one of the best run landfills in central Ohio. And uh, we're kind of a a model to other landfills throughout the state. Nice. Yeah. I would just recommend if people go on a tour or go in the colder months because it doesn't have as much of a strong smell. You might not get as uh, much yeah. of a smell. Um, it's, it's relatively, uh, for a uh, big mountain of, of waste, is relatively not that much smell once you get up there. Yeah. It's, it's pretty incredible what our men and women do each day to keep that odor down. Nice. So the, the landfill is one component of what Swaco does. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about recycling as well because obviously that's that's kind of the, the biggest component. What What is the, the goal and, the, and I guess the role of Swaco when it comes 
comes to recycling. Yeah, so as we mentioned earlier, one of the goals for us is to divert as much material away from that landfill to extend the life of it. Mm. Um, it's very hard to site a landfill in anywhere. Um, so we want to extend the life by uh, getting products out of that out of the landfill. So we have a robust programs section that does education. We have Recycle Right is a, mm-hmm. a campaign that we do to educate and make uh, folks aware of how to recycle, what to recycle, what can be recycled. Mm-hmm. One of the interesting things is we did a waste characterization study in 2018. And that study showed us that 76% of what's coming into that landfill can be reused, recycled, or repurposed. So mm. 76% of what you see out there yeah. uh, doesn't need to be in there. Mm. It could be it could be recycled. So our goal is to make our communities aware, right? Um, to educate them, to give them grants to help with their programs. Yeah, yeah. I know there's always a lot of confusion between plastic types and yeah. the, the numbers on the labels. Is a yogurt container recyclable right. and all? all that sort of stuff so uh yeah great great to see a lot of that consumer information out there um you know a lot of times we focus on that one r the the recycle part of the three r's Mm -hmm. uh reduce and reuse being being big components as well do you think um there are things we need to be doing better in central ohio to kind of eliminate you know the use of of single use plastics and things like that yeah, I, I think that's very important. A lot of people understand the recycling side, the reuse and the repurpose is mm-hmm. really the, the thing that we're going to try to start focusing on in 2024. Uh, for example, um, you know, food is a, is a big uh, material um, that comes into our landfill. It represents 15% of what comes in there. It's our largest material uh, that we can divert out of there. You know, you could compost that mm-hmm. food waste. Mm-hmm. Um, and and even before that, to reduce how much food that you bring to your households. Mm-hmm. Uh, make a grocery list for the week. Uh, eat your leftovers. Freeze mm-hmm. stuff that can be frozen and, and, re- and reused. Um, we just opened a convenience center uh, about a month ago where we're accepting bicycles and old oil um, appliances, uh, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And when you take a bicycle and there's a group that's going to redo them and refix them and uh, renovate them up and give them back to children that can't uh, afford bicycles. So not only are we able to get that bicycle back in into our community, but we're giving it to people that need it. That's awesome. Yeah. Where, where's the center located? Center is located on Jackson Pike, okay. uh, right at our transfer station on Jackson Pike. We'll be open Monday through Friday from, uh, I think it's 930 to 6, okay. and on the, or 1030 to 6, and then on the weekends, uh, 930 to 4 on nice. Saturday. Nice. Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of... Um, great opportunities throughout the year as well for like e-waste you know sites that will pick up and help Mm -hmm. people recycle things like that and batteries um things that are just harder to determine you know should this go in the trash should this go in recycling you know those harder things um i know that there's also some new uh composting drop-off locations in the city as well yes yeah so the city of columbus um just instituted i believe they have three food Mm -hmm. waste drop-offs at some of the recreation centers Mm -hmm. Our new convenience center will allow for food drop-offs, and we're in the process right now of um, adding uh, more food waste drop-offs. Also, some of our communities have curbside, Bexley, one of the, one of our uh, probably our most aggressive uh, communities uh, in sustainability has a curbside drop-off program. Mm-hmm. Um, Upper Arlington, Hilliard. Uh, so they're all starting to get into food waste drop-offs. I, I, th- I believe Grandview has a, a good size one right at the bottom of the hill on Good Ale and mm-hmm. Grandview Avenue. And yeah. folks can just take their food waste and put them in bins and a uh, company comes and picks them up and then composts it. Nice. So we are about to head into the holidays, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, which is a, a big time of year for, for celebration, for parties, for travel, for gift giving. Um, I imagine you see an uptick in uh, waste and recycling and all this sort of stuff. Are, are there uh, educational campaigns or guidelines you try and get out in the community for, yes. to, to help with some of that? Absolutely. Um, according to the Ohio EPA, 25% more trash comes in during the holidays. Really? Um, wow. Your wrapping papers, your cardboard boxes, mm-hmm. um, food waste, obviously, uh, for the holidays. And so we put out a green holiday guide. Mm-hmm. If you visit our website, swaco.org, uh, it will give you some 
tips on uh, how to be more sustainable during the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we talk about is donate some of your old decorations and maybe your old lights. You can bring it to a convenience center and drop mm -hmm. them off. Uh, we also talk about breaking down your cardboard boxes that your new TV is coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, the styrofoam now we're accepting at that convenience center. So you could bring your styrofoam there and drop it off instead of putting it into your waste. So mm -hmm. uh, I would I would tell um, people that are listening to go to Swaco.org and look for the uh, holiday guide. And uh, it'll give them all the tips that they need to nice. be more sustainable this yeah. year. Keep, keep those uh, Christmas trees out of the landfill, Keep the too. Christmas <laughs> trees out. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't belong there. Um Obviously, a big time for food waste as well. You know, a lot of holiday cooking, parties, mm -hmm. all of that sort of stuff. So that, that's that's some great information to, to learn about. Um, as we head into 2024, I know you talked a little bit about some, some of the goals. Are there other programs or initiatives that uh, you're working on for next year? Yeah, so just uh, this week, mm -hmm. um, our board passed our 2024 budget and our new strategic plan for the next four years uh, with a new vision. Our new vision is to make this um, a sustainable future for our region. And our mission has changed a little bit. We, we want to have transformational programs and safe uh, you know, waste uh, disposal. Um, so we're pretty excited about this new strategic plan. We're going to be looking at uh, adding additional funding for grants mm -hmm. uh, to provide to our communities for waste reduction. Uh, we're really going to hit our businesses. Uh, our commercial businesses are about 60% of what comes in our landfill. Mm -hmm. So we're working on a business recycling program, uh, trying to get uh, uh, that program moving. So we're going to add additional staff to that. I'm a big proponent of education. I think our kids are great ambassadors mm -hmm. uh, for recycling and, and sustainability. And, and that's why we changed our vision as a sustainable region for the future, because they are the future and we, we need to give them a better place to live. Um, and so we're going to hit the schools. We're going we're gonna to try to get to the young people, especially in elementary and middle schools, and keep making them aware. And, and then they come home and make us aware when yeah. we do things wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's their, their planet in the future. That's so we right. got right. to make sure it's still here for them. Um, just a, a quick endorsement, too, of the uh, the grant program. We've been a recipient of that mm -hmm. for some of the events that we produce. So the Columbus Coffee Festival, we've gotten some yeah. Swaco grants, which has been great to help us compost because we go through so much coffee at the coffee festival yes. and the grounds are compostable and so trying to make that as as low impact as much of a zero waste event as we can is mm -hmm. uh has been a big goal of ours That's great yeah great, yeah. great to hear great yeah to hear. yeah i mean we're grateful for the the support making that happen yeah that grant program is outstanding i mm -hmm. mean we've we've uh, given grants to a lot of our communities who have really created programs that have you know at the start they, we helped them through you know with resources and education and and trying to logistics, but they've kind of taken it on and, and they've done it well. We've got a great community here in central Ohio. I um, mean, you know, our recycling rate is 54%. Wow. Uh, we just learned that uh, earlier this year. Um, is that on the residential side, business side? That is the, ev that is everywhere. That's everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, and while that's great, mm -hmm. um, it, it moved from 51% for the last three years. So it's only a 3% you know, tick and the yeah. light, but it's great. It's, yeah. it, we're moving in the right direction. Um, so, you know, we keep trying to make people where I think that's, that's really what we need to do is to be more aggressive in our, our PR of what, uh, what is recyclable. I think a lot of people are confused. They, mm -hmm. they still don't know what can go in there, what can't go in there. Um, so we're going to keep pushing and keep trying to make more people aware. Nice. Uh, so we like to end every episode of the Confluence Cast mm -hmm. with uh, sort of a two-parter question. Okay. Uh, this doesn't have to be in relation to uh, you know recycling, waste management, any of that that sort of stuff. What is Columbus doing well, and what uh, could Columbus be doing a better job of? Hmm. What are you doing not so well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can take those in yeah. either order. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So I think uh, you know we we kind of touched on it there. What we're doing well. Um, you know, in terms of our diversion and our awareness, um, I think our communities are very engaged in, uh, and they're very uh, interested in trying to be a more sustainable community. I mm -hmm. think it's really about uh, the welfare and the health of a community. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we're doing, I think we work together well, mm -hmm. um, in central Ohio, I think all of our communities uh, come together for a common cause and they, they do that well. 
Um, I think what we can do better at, um, I think we can probably try to figure out more ways to make um, recycling, uh, food waste, uh, reuse, we can make that more of a common day-to-day thought in people's heads. Mm -hmm. Um, We still have uh, people that believe that the recycling isn't being recycled. And, Mm -hmm. you know, 80% of what is recycled, you know, here in Central Ohio stays either in Central Ohio or Ohio itself. So, Uh, There's companies that rely on those recycled materials, so it's an economics um, as well as an environmental issue. Mm -hmm. Um, I think our multifamily units is a challenge. Um, We need to figure out a way to provide access to those multi-unit facilities, and uh, that's why convenience centers are so good to have because they just don't have access at those uh, locations, so we're trying to give them access. Uh, but I think those are the, probably the biggest challenges that we have. And and we all know the growth is coming. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, th- that has not um, – that's been on the forefront of my mind since mm-hmm. uh, sitting down with you know, folks like Jobs Ohio and One Columbus. And you hear those numbers, and that's just more people that we have to make aware. That's more trash that's coming. And we do have to try to keep this landfill – alive and well for our future. So uh, we'll, we'll need to figure out ways to, to make that happen. Great. Joe, thanks for the time today. Thank you for having me. This has been great. Thank you for listening to the Confluence Cast presented by Columbus Underground. Again, you can get more information on what we discussed today in the show notes for this episode at theconfluencecast.com. Please rate, subscribe, share this episode of the Confluence Cast with your friends, family, contacts, enemies, your favorite recycler. If you're interested in sponsoring the Confluence Cast, get in touch with us. We can be reached by email at info at theconfluencecast.com. Our theme music was composed by Benji Robinson. Our producer is Philip Cogley. I'm your host, Tim Fulton. Have a great week.